ัสดีครับ This is the first ever YouTube channel that I am going to speak and run for the international students in Thailand and for the expatriates living and working in Thailand. And uh, usually, I write, I give interviews, etc., in the Thai language, but. A lot of times, the my the friends from North America, from the Indian continent, or even from Africa, do pose some questions about the going on in Thailand and the current Thai political situation. So I have come to the conclusion that I should say something about Thailand and Thai politics in the English language. I hope that will be useful to all of you. Living in Thailand, what's going on? I think everyone knows that on the 24th of March of this year, there will be the general elections in Thailand for the lower house, which we call the House of Representatives. But in the Thai political system, like the British one, the parliament ha has two houses. One is the upper house, which we call the Senate. And the lower house, which we call the House of Representatives. What is so different and unique about the Thai parliamentary system is that only the lower house or the House of Representatives will be elected. The members, 500 of them, will be elected by the people. But the upper house or the Senate, the members will all be nominated by the military junta, who is in power. As of today, or has been in power for the past uh, five years after they have staged a coup d'état. But uh, so the situation is a bit confused, confusing for a lot of foreigners. The fact that we have the upper house nominated and the lower house elected, and the combination of the two houses will lead to the uh, holding of an election for the prime minister inside the, the parliament. Okay, but leave that aside. In coming back to the House of Representatives, currently, I think there are about 70 registered political parties. And I think most of the parties have, a field, have fielded the candidates. Altogether, there are about almost 4,000 candidates for 350 seats for 350 seats. The other 150 seats out of the total 500, they are part of the party list, which means that each of the political party will uh, have a list of 150 candidates for the party list. The other 350 will be for the constituents all over the country. Now, at the same time, each of the party can also propose names for the prime ministership. And currently, there are about 10 names. And the most uh, outstanding prominent name is the name of General Prayut Jan Ocha, who is currently the prime minister of Thailand, as well as the leader of the coup d'etat that took place five years ago. So he will, he wants to continue in the political life of Thailand under an elected government. Now, what are the issues that some the political parties have been uh, proposing to the people? What are the campaign issues? I think it boils down to the question of the quality of life the lessening of their poverty in the country, the wealth gap or the inequality. So a lot of political parties have been uh, proposing that if they were to be elected and form the go uh, government, they will tackle, first of all, the everyday life quality, the income, the job creation, the cost of transportation, the cost of education, the cost of uh, health care, and so on. 
So all of the political parties are more or less competing on the basic well-being of the people. At the same time is that Thailand is very much of an agricultural base, a country, as well as an agro-based, uh, industrial uh, nation. And uh, so the issue of the plight of the farmer is still very, very important. And many of the political parties uh, have come out with proposals on how to tackle the livelihood of the farmers, especially the rice farmer, and to a lesser extent, the rubber growers, tapioca, or cassava, or manioc, and as well as the sugar and the maize or corn. So these are the basic commodities of Thailand. I think more than half of the 76, 77 provinces of Thailand do not have access to the rail, railroad. So there is uh, still a question of the uh, improving on the connectivity of the country on the road and the railway transportation. And on top of that, which is uh, part of the whole global concern is about the climate change, the erosion of the uh, watersheds, the mountains, the forest, the uh, cutting down of the forest and so on is still a problem. So. Thailand's uh, between the years have to go through a drought situation and a flood situation, which we cannot go on living in this uh, in this situation. So it's incumbent uh, for the incoming government to be able to tackle this uh, climate uh, issue. And at the moment, everyone is experiencing the situation of too much of the dusk all over the urban areas of Thailand. So this is still a part of a, of a challenge for any incoming government to, to undertake. But uh, coming back a bit to the, to the upcoming uh, elections, the people still have not have uh, enough of the access to the information on the policy measures of political parties. So it is, I hope that more and more of the public media, radios and television will have uh, time to be catered to the political parties and their candidates to be able to convey their thinking, their uh, messages to the people so that at the end of the day, the people can make the decision. And this time it will be quite difficult for the people in the sense that uh, normally in the past, when you get into the election booth, you could do two things. One is to pick a political party of your choice. And the other one is to pick the candidate of your choice. But this time the new election rule is that when you get into the election booth, you have to mark only one time uh, applicable to both the political party and to the candidate. So this is a bit uh, of a, a novelty, but uh, quite confusing for the people because they should be able to choose one on the party and second on the candidate. But now they only have to mark one time and choose both the political party and the candidate. I do not know what would be the outcome at the end of the day, because it, in that sense, it makes it very difficult to judge in advance which party will come out with the majority of the votes or which party will come out with a sort of a, a number of votes because of the, this mixing of the party together with the candidate. I don't think any other country in the world has ever uh, done uh, this election with this type of uh, rule. But that is something for us to, to, to keep on uh, monitoring and see the outcome. And hopefully that at the end of the day, we will have uh, uh, political parties or a combination of political parties to 
run the government and cater to the interests and to the well-being of, of Thailand. So with this first YouTube channel, I just want to introduce uh, basic things about the Thai situation and the cause of the political processes under a sort of a democratic uh, context. Thank you very much. Thank you.